Hello, this is Chris with Outbound Terrain, and I wanted to tell you about a project we're going to do. We got a 73 CJ, um, as you know, it came with the old uh, AMC 304 motor, I believe. Yeah, the 304 V8. Um, that we're going to swap out, my friends. Uh, we're going to swap it out and put a small block Chevy in there to make it sure. It's a 283. It's a 62 283. Now it has this crank snout on the end in the front. We usually put a pulley or a harmonic balancer. It doesn't have it. So we're going to have to tap it ourselves. We're going to tap it, and um, you, know, you guys like that. Just kidding. We're going to <laughs> we're going to tap it, and uh, so we can put a bolt in and put the modern harmonic balancer on there. And, so, and um, it's going to be great. I'll show you how to do it. It's not that hard to do. That way, when we get the motor in, we can hook up uh, power steering, pump, the water, all that stuff. So uh, bear with me, and um, we'll get going on it. Thanks. Hello. It's just continuing this series about how we're going to tap this crankshaft. This is Chris. Um, once again, hey, and continuing with the video. So basically what we're going to do, if we're going to tap this out, this is a uh, 1962 uh, Chevy Small Block 283, which I'm going to put in my little hot rod here. I'll um, talk about that later. Anyways, um, on these guys and the 327s in that era, uh, this is a forged crank. We're going to tap this because there's no bolt on there. Um, the 327, th same thing. This kit covers those two. So basically what we want to do is... Um, tap this so we can put a modern balancer on there okay harmonic balancer the engine produces a lot of harmonic uh, um, vibrations and this pretty much dampens it and saves your crankshaft because you know if you didn't have it the crank would get some damage because of the up and down movement of the pistons and the rods and all that crap I don't want to get into it anyways um, the hub so this is what came with the motor originally in 1962 I got the motor um, it was uh, completely torn down and rebuilt um, the right way so basically, when I was putting it back together, I just, you know, I, uh, later down the line, it's like, oh crap, I got to tap this. And it wasn't at the machine shop. I had just gotten it. So it's in the engine. So I had, you know, I'm putting this, this uh, truck together. So the radiator is gone. None of the front end stuff's on there. So I can just, you know, I got plenty of room to get a uh, drill in there to tap that. Now, if you're doing it when it's in the truck or in the car, it's going to be a little bit dif difficult. I think you're going to have to use a little bit of ingenuity. Good old American ingenuity. Anyways, um, here it is, 1962 crankshaft hub, they called this. And it's not really a balancer, it's just a hub that sat on here that you could put uh, your pulleys on, right? In the old days, to run your uh, water pump and your alternator and all that other, you know, that kind of stuff. Um, so there it is, in all its glory. I took it off. It's an antique. Um, I can see the dog peed all over it. So that makes for a great uh, theatrical presentation. So anyways, um, thank you, puppy. We'll put that away. Makes a great boat anchor too. It's heavy. So this is our, our harmonic balancer. I just got this from uh, Speedway. It's a great one. Um, for the, I've designed for this motor, but they're all fit pretty much that are, you know, for the small block 327. So here it is. Uh, we want to put this modern one on there, but there's a problem, okay? We don't have a bolt to hold this mama on there. Now, these guys in the old days just pressed on. I think Chevy used these two four holes and used a, some kind of a, a tool to push it on in the, while it was in the factory being built, this motor in 1962. Anyways, um, I can't keep my, you know, I don't have any way to keep this thing on because of the bolt. I keep going back to that. But anyways, um, we're going to have to tap this out. So this guy will stay on there. Um, I could get a new one of these and press it on. You know, I could do that, but I'm just afraid one day if this thing's on or a newer one and i'm leaning over the engine and this guy would decide to let loose and that would be some carnage i've heard of these things uh hot rodders have told me these things have gone through a fender and they were found spinning in somebody's front yard so and gone through the hood and gone yeah it's just they're dangerous you don't know when they're going to come off it's you know crap shoot russian roulette or whatever taking your chances so we're going to get rid of that so that's it here's the crank um the end of the crank now the 327s and the 283s just so you know, um, these are an inch shorter than a regular crank. I mean, the 350s later, 350s. So this is shorter. Um, so basically, when you put this guy on, this is, I'm just telling you, because it's going to, I looked into this, it's going to stick out a little bit, because the crank's only going to come to about here, because it's an inch shorter. But that's okay. That's the way the old one was, too, and you just, you know, put your, your, your bolt in there. So that's about it. I just want to give you a little prelim on what we're going to do. That's the, uh, the goal. Um... I will talk to you later with a new video. And that's it. Hope you have a good day. From sunny Northern California, this is Chris. Thanks, man.